We are continuing to cover issues that customers are having with Truist Bank and is happening in the wake of the merger between SunTrust Bank and BB&T. So after our report earlier this month, we've heard from so many of you expressing your frustration. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is uh, staying on top of this story for us tonight. He's live from a Truist Bank branch in Atlanta. Joe, so what are the latest issues here? Good evening, Ron. We've been hearing several complaints, customers waiting for hours just trying to get in touch with a representative from Truist Bank. Other customers saying they're missing out on tens of thousands of dollars. And one woman told us the bank threatened to close one of her bank accounts. All of these issues coming in the wake of this merger between SunTrust and BB&T to create Truist and coming after a complaint in which one person lost $2,000 mysteriously and didn't get that money back until they contacted 11 Alive. Joe Hirsch wears his emotions on his sign. Over the last month, he's complained to Truist Bank about a home equity loan. Hirsch says the check didn't clear and the money didn't go back into his equity line. He spent hours trying to talk to bank representatives in person, on the phone, with no results. Hirsch even shared a complaint with us to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. I'm actually obviously trying to leave Truist Bank because I know I'm not alone in all the mess and the problems that they've been causing. A number of other customers have voiced their frustration stemming from the merger between BB&T and SunTrust, which made Truist Bank. I just don't think this is a good idea. Mark Juanetta Clark Bethune says she never had issues in the six years she banked with SunTrust, but last month she says Truist failed to notify her of a series of transactions during the merger that left her in the red. Now the bank has threatened to close her account. If my account does get closed, then it's going to be hard for me to open up another checking account because it's going to get reported. In a statement sent to us earlier this month, Truist said, quote, protecting our clients and their accounts is a top priority for us. This is like electricity, power. We only realize it is there when it stops working, when we lose power. Otherwise, we don't even pay any attention to it. Dr. Ramnath Chalapa with Emory University's Gozueta Business School says the merger makes Truist the sixth largest bank of the country. Two big banks coming together, he says, was bound to come with growing pains. Customers like Joe Hirsch are feeling that pain. Now they want accountability. That's not on me. That's on you, Truist. You changed, you merged, you fix it. It's not my responsibility. Man, I tell you what, Joe, this has to be very frustrating for those customers. So have some of these customers heard from Truist recently about fixing these issues? Well, Ron, at the end of this story there, you heard from Joe Hirsch on the home equity issue he's been having. Well, our presence there at the, the Truist Bank location in Dunwoody earlier today caused the branch employees to reach out to Truist Corporate. Joe Hirsch told us that a representative from the bank called him, apologized, and said they are investigating his case further. Okay, hopefully they can get all this fixed. All right, Joe, thanks a lot for the update there. Turn